As soon as you uh, said the story, I was like, how do I learn how to speak Korean? How do I figure out to move to Korea? How do I get a job? But then you can't find anyone to have sex with you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, I learned Korean and no one will f*** me. There is a billionaire boss in South Korea uh, yeah. who has a construction giant company and he's encouraging his workers to have children by giving them a $75,000 bonus. That's Whoa! Sick. That is that's that's not incredible! $75,000 to have children? Children it's, are expensive. It's just like unheard of that someone's incentivizing you to have children at a workplace. That's like that's Usually they're like, they're, they're like, you better yeah, not. That's weird. What's the back? Where, where is this? Yeah. It's Still not enough. But then, Korea? Yeah. Yeah. but then do the kids have to work for the company? Yeah, or <laughs> from yeah, birth, that's, that's or, it, or it has to be his kids. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's just really just trying to fix the population. Because it's one hundred percent that. Yeah, it's, um, the employee has a baby. Uh, if seventy five thousand dollars each time an employee has a baby to help reverse the country's declining birth rate. But why wow. does he have to pay for it, not the government? That's it's, crazy. It's even backdating payments to those who started a family before the policy came into place. Ooh. Wow, wow. So about it. Cool. That's that's thinking. That's cool. It was already. Quote, if the current state of low birth rates persists, we will face a national existential crisis such as workforce decline and a lack of defense manpower necessary for national security. That is a big uh, picture dude. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's something awesome. in the fine print, bro. That's Don't great. trust there me. Is. The kids gotta work. Like, you gotta use my cum. <laughs> yeah. I think Korea's <laughs> faster than Japan in declining. Yeah, both are <laughs> for sure right now. That's why he's paying his own money. <laughs> but I think the difference is uh, South Korea's population way smaller so like the, I think like a huge number like a third of just Korean genetics is overseas so America Canada Australia Europe there's way like there's a ton of Korean people that are spread among the, the world then like um, you would assume like in just Korea alone if you're just talking South Koreans right because <coughs> North Koreans they'd be popping out babies and shit yeah yeah, but then Japan has the same issue, but they're like a hundred million people. <laughs> Anthony got Versus real quiet. Like, mm. Korea? I think Korea is like 20 mil or something. Um, yeah, I think Korea is like four, 20 to 40 mil. Sure. Um, Do a Google search. What you got, man? <laughs> as well as awarding a total of 7 billion Korean won, <laughs> aka $5.25 million to employees who collectively had 70 babies since 2021, the construction giant's drastic measures include potentially footing the bill for larger families' rent as well. <coughs> wow, that's really cool. Says if land is provided, yeah, that is big picture. Yeah, if land is provided by the government for employees with three or more children, we'll let them choose between a childbirth incentive equivalent for three newborns or a public housing like rental home with no tenant tax burden or maintenance responsibilities. That's so sick. And he's an 84 year old billionaire. So like, I think taking things in consideration, one, let's say you're a fucking billionaire, but you're also 84, you're about to die. What else are you gonna do with your money? Yeah, it's like you might as well do something that like, is, is, this is like amazing for your country. And then two, it's incredible. To even backdate payment for 70 babies since 2021, that's $5.25 million. And maybe it's a drop in the bucket for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Good that's, for him, That's extremely that's cool. patriotic what he's doing. Yeah. Dude, let's yeah. salute this man. What's his name? This guy's name is... Tang Long Sung. Lee Jun Kyun. <laughs> oh, close. <laughs> close, dude. You were, good. You were like one off. I knew it, dude. Founder and chairman of Blue Young Group. All right, look at this. All right. Okay. They got 49 million Koreans in South Korea. They got 25 million North Koreans. Wow. But outside of Korea, they got 7 million. So that's a huge percentage that's even outside of Korea. US, it's 2 million, almost three. China, it's 2 million. In Japan, it's 800,000. So all that, like, it's like, um, in general, I think the population of South Korea is maybe the same as California. Yeah, but you can't really, you're talking about just South Koreans in the world, right? Well, uh, so 49 million is South Koreans in South Korea. Yeah. Um, 7.3 million would just be Korean but, genetics worldwide. But all those other Korean genetics, they're, they're exposed to not necessarily continuing a pure Korean bloodline. Oh, like they might may, marry yeah. black, white, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's not a matter of wrong, but when you're talking about <laughs> that's wrong, are you combating? <laughs> also, when they're talking about the things like uh, national security and needing people yeah, for the defense yeah, force and stuff, yeah. then that's like a totally different thing too. Because those other Koreans, they're not, they're yeah. done. They're yeah, they ain't coming back. They're out of there. 
Well, some of have, them do. Some they have, have more do. people than North Korea. I thought North Korea had more. It said the the there was 25 million North Koreans, and then there's 49 million South Koreans. Oh, but all, all the North numbers. Koreans are happy. They might be, and and they're all them. um they're all serving as military. That's true. That means it's 25 million <laughs> military members. <laughs> all That's crazy. Yeah. They have the largest military because the whole country is the military. But the whole military is hungry. True. So they're like maybe 10 million people because if you split them in half. And they could probably only do five pull-ups collectively. <laughs> collectively? Collectively? Probably <laughs> only, only one out of 30 could do one pull-up maybe. Their Millions? special forces can, will people. shoot you on rollerblades. They're so tired. <laughs> Those were so tired, man. South Korea's government has already subsidized housing for newlyweds, discounted postpartum care for new mothers, and even introduced a baby payment of $2,250 $2, for each newborn. Wow. Baby payment sounds dope. But that's that still not cool. enough. A uh, country currently has the world's lowest fertility rate, with the number of babies expected per South Korean woman dropping to 0 0.78. Why, why do you think... Um, so sad. I haven't researched enough into why people are not having like is it are they saying it's too expensive? It's like I'm I'm guessing there's a lot of different things. Like Yeah, they're just gay. For sure. <laughs> they're all just gay. Yeah. For sure like though, gay. like a lot of it will come down to uh, like I know somebody like Dr. Phil would probably talk about how a lot of it even comes down to like depression and anxiety from like social media and stuff like that. Like the way that the world changed through like smartphones uh, smartphones and how like kids stopped like living their own lives and they started like watching other people live their lives so they started stop getting into relationships stop having yeah, sex yeah, stop thinking true. about their careers in a certain way so it just changed the mentality of like people in general right is it gen z is like the like the generation that's like least dating from all but the funny thing is like how come it doesn't change so much in like low income communities cuz they be popping babies out still cuz they don't think about the future dog and they don't think about sadness they're so, just too busy so, fucking all day so maybe that's the key <laughs> Too many people are getting rich. Oh, uh, yeah, we got too much income going around. <laughs> I also think booming you want a high birth rate, <laughs> booming economies. Like there's hella money to go around, so then it's also you could pop hella babies out. You know, everyone's got a job. Maybe we're too educated. Maybe. Well, yeah, cause look, look at us. We want to go. We want to make more. Want to go to school longer. All that stuff. People get married later. Like you have one or two kids. You don't have like twenty kids. But I also don't know what's inside, like, I can't identify purely with, like, what is in the brain of a dude that's, like, 17 and just, like, straight raw dogging and, and inseminating women. I don't think he has like, a brain. That's what I'm saying. He's just coming because it feels good and he's yeah. stupid. Yeah, but then why is that? That's invincible to the economy. It's, like, an interesting <laughs> thing. Well, there's also, like, for example... <laughs> it's, like, nothing will stop me. Yeah, because you're always going to have that guy, though. Maybe right? when, you, when you do have either... Uh, options, opportunity, money, or whatever, or even education, and you learn about like different cultures and different things about the world, and then you see how you can go enjoy and become somebody else, versus like, if somebody feels like they have no options to even like leave their city, maybe things like having a kid is just the next step, yeah. you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I just think it's funny if Korea finds those dudes to interview and be like, what's your secret? And he's like, I don't know, I just do it, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this um, thing on, um, they're like interviewing uh, Japanese youth about relationships and marriage and shit. And then because they're, they're, they have a birth rate problem too. And I don't know if Korea has the same answers from their youth, but it sounds like the traditional roles haven't changed there like it has in the West to evolve with the workforce and everything. And for them, they're like, the women say, I don't want to fucking be like my mom and just be like tied to the house. And like, not only do I have to now work where my mom was a housewife, I don't, I have to fucking work and be a housewife and do all the house shit and I don't have a life. So, and then the guy is like, well, I don't want to fucking give up my paycheck and take care of these people. Like, and then so people are like, I just want to fuck and have fun and be young and have independence but I don't want all these extra responsibilities and take care of people. And that's what seems to be the m majority of the cases where people are like, yeah, I'm dating, but I'm not, I'm not marrying. Yeah. What can we do like this guy to get birth? Find Jesus. Job? That's a really good uh, incentive. Like, I think a lot of people see family and, and I think they see kids as a burden. Yeah. yeah that's what it seems like. I think what this guy's trying to do, especially at, at a job is family planning. 
I mean, and that's different producing that kind of birth rate versus the 17 year old who has five babies mamas yeah. and they're all different, you know? And then those- You are quality humans. Yeah, that could potentially lead to even a worse society because there's more and more broken homes. That, Statistically, we know what happens true, with broken yeah, homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit different. Where I think this one, they're trying to create more new High quality units. birth rate. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's interesting because if you think about it, it's like, yeah, this is yeah. really good big picture thinking and, and beneficial to society, but it's also on the other side, very beneficial to his companies yeah. because everyone wants to work there now, right? And long-term Because it's like, it's like having a good dental plan. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, people yeah, want yeah. that job. Yeah, like yeah. if you're working on a rival construction company yeah. and you're gonna have a kid anyways, you're like, oh. So it's yeah. almost the most genius level of headhunting that you can do. You don't even need a recruiter now. As soon as you uh, said the story, I was like, how do I learn how to speak Korean? How do I figure out to move to Korea? How do I get a job? But then you can't find anyone to have sex with you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I learned Korean and no one will fuck me. Learned all the other skills but to like yeah. date somebody. 75,000 in South Korea, US dollars, <laughs> is a lot. Ooh, that's a fuck ton. Yeah. Especially if it's like a one time check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anywhere. Like, it is a lot, but I think the money stretches further out there because uh, <laughs> the cost of goods is cheaper than here. But better get that now so you can still buy a Bitcoin. That's true. They all just buy Bitcoin. <laughs> all their kids are fucking starving. <laughs> but when they graduate, though, like, yeah, they're gonna raise good families. Yeah, yeah. Bitcoin, dude. <laughs> by the dip. Dude. You know what's funny is that movie Idiocracy is like just becoming. It's, true. it's happening. It's, it's been, like, yeah. Slowly. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. But it's true. Like all these smart people that should have kids, dude. they're like not having kids or having one. That's funny. Nobody heard, wants to talk about high quality birth rate. That's true. Good, though, <laughs>